identical forces act upon two objects, what is the mass of the first object? If its acceleration is twice that of the second object, this is in science, is part of physics. Is it letter A twice of the second object, letter B constant, letter C one half of the second object, letter D equal to the second object? Before we go to the answer, let me show you several slides first. Of course, this is based upon Newton's loss of motion. Newton, Sir Isaac Newton, a very short man. Uh, it was said that he was just 4'11", never been kissed, never been touched, never had a girlfriend, died a virgin, okay? So his life was very sad. But he is, of course, one of the most famous scientists that we have. He had given us a very important law, which is the loss of motion. Now, according to Newton's loss of motion, meron po siyang tatlong loss of motion. Okay, law number one is also called the law of inertia. Okay, law of inertia. I'm not sure if you are familiar with this. Kung naaalala nyo pa sa inyong physics when you were in high school. I'm not sure if you've had not sci when you were in college. Okay, so... Law number one, according to Newton's laws of motion, law number one is also called the law of inertia. Ang inertia po, pag sinabi yung inertia, this is the tendency of the body to resist change in motion. Yung body po natin ay may, may tendency na i-resist ang change in motion. So kung ang isang um, bottled water po, for example, ay naka nakapatong lamang sa isang mesa, pag walang external force na gagalaw sa basong yan or sa, sa bottled water na yan, ay hindi po siya gagalaw dahil meron po siyang inertia. Meron po siyang tendency to resist motion. So sinasabi ng law number one natin, a body at rest will remain at rest and a body in motion will remain in motion unless it is acted upon by an external force. Okay? So kung wala pong mag-a-act na force dito, hindi po siya gagalaw. Kung ang isang body ay in motion, it will remain in motion unless may external force na magsa-stop sa kanya. In some cases, it might be gravity. In other cases, it might be friction. So that's inertia. The tendency of our body to resist the change in motion. Now, there are so many questions in the lab about inertia. One common question in the lab about inertia is, you are uh, always using the seat belt when you're using your car or when you are in a moving vehicle. Why is this so? Okay, why why is this so? Or yung question din, meron din question na, what happens to your body when the driver suddenly starts the car? Ano bang nangyayari sa ating katawan pag nasa loob tayo ng kotse, nasa loob kayo ng Grab, for example, or Uber, for example, for example, and the driver starts to move the car? What happens to your body? Your body in that case would would uh, or would have the tendency to move backwards when you are in a moving car na man and the driver brakes okay when the driver steps on the brake what happens to your body pag nasa moving car ka naman at nag-apply ng brakes yung driver what happens to your body is that it moves forward bakit it is because of inertia the answer there would be inertia dahil yung body mo has the tendency to resist motion. So habang nakaupo ka lamang sa isang car, habang hindi pa siya nagmo-move, your tendency ng body mo is to resist motion. Ayaw niyang mag-move. Kaya nung ini-start ng car yung yung uh, ini-start ng driver yung car, yung body mo would have or would have the tendency to move backwards pa ayaw pa niyang mag-move. That's inertia. Now while your body is already in a moving car, once the driver step on the brake, yung body mo naman has still the tendency to continue moving. So that's why once the driver steps on the brake, your body is still moving forward. That's the law of inertia. And that is Newton's first law. So commonly, nakikita po natin ito sa car. When you are in a car, that's the reason why we need to um, we need to put on or we need to wear our seat belts. Now, law number two is also called the law of acceleration. So ayan po, law of acceleration, itong law number two. Yung uh, atin pong equation dito is F equals MA. F po is force. Force equals mass times acceleration. Ibig sabihin lamang nitong uh, law of acceleration natin, kung mas malaki ang object, mas malaki ding pwersa dapat yung gagamitin mo para mag-accelerate siya. For example, meron kang truck at meron kang toy car. 
Okay, if you want both of them to have the same acceleration, pareho yung magiging, um, magiging uh, tulin na kanilang takbo, of course, mas magiging malaki yung force na i-exert mo sa iyong truck kesa sa iyong toy car. Okay, so that's the law of acceleration, which is force equals m times a. So mas malaki, mas mabigat, mas mabagal yung movement niya. Pag mas less yung pag less yung mass niya eh mas magiging mabilis yung acceleration niya that's the law of acceleration now law number 3 is called the law of action reaction sometimes this is also called the law of um, interaction this is also very common in the lab sinasabi dito ng law of action reaction mo for every action there is an interaction may, may may reaction always there is always a reaction which is equal in magnitude of force so equal siya in the amount of force but opposite siya in direction so again sa kada action sa kada force na ini-exert mo merong reaction force that would be equal in the amount of force in newtons but the direction would be opposite ito po yung nakikita natin kung bakit si Manny Pacquiao for example senator Manny Pacquiao when he was still very active in boxing I don't know when his next match will be. When he was still very active in, in boxing and then kung napapatumba ni Manny Pacquiao yung kanyang, ng, yung kanyang opponent, for example, napapatumba niya dahil nga malakas yung suntok niya, pambansang kamao niya, pagkatapos ng fight, eh magadin yung kanyang kamao. Bakit? Dahil nga sa law number three, which is the law of action-reaction, law of interaction natin, pag nag -e exert siya ng effort ng 1,000 newtons sa face na kanyang kalaban, sa mukha na kanyang kalaban, ay nag -e exert din ang mukha na kanyang kalaban ng 1,000 newtons. The same amount of force, pero opposite yung direction. That's the law of action-reaction. Now, common question in the lab about law of action-reaction would be, um, you are, for example, uh, the question would be, you are on a farm and you are watching the birds. You can see that the bird is pushing the air particles downwards. In effect, the body of the bird is pushed upwards. What law of motion is this according to Isaac Newton? Your answer there would be law number three, the law of action-reaction. Okay, so opposite movement. Ito din po yung nangyayari if we are swimming. If we are swimming, we are, we are pushing the water backwards and in effect, our body is pushed forward. Ito din po yung nangyayari sa mga space rockets. Common question ito sa let. The space rockets would move upwards as the gas fumes are downwards. Okay, so what law of motion is this according to Isaac Newton, your answer would be law number three. Okay, so again, these are the three laws of motion according to Newton. The first law is inertia, the tendency of a body to resist change. It will remain uh, at rest or not moving unless there is an external force that acts upon it. It will remain in motion unless there is an external force that acts upon it. The law of acceleration, law, law number two, the bigger the mass, the bigger is the force that you need to accelerate an object. Law number three, for every action, there is always a reaction that is equal in magnitude of force but opposite in direction. Okay, now going back to your question here, Sinabi, identical forces act upon two objects. What is the mass of the first object if its acceleration is twice that of the, se the second object? So actually, our question here is based on the second law of motion, which is the law of acceleration. So again, sa law of acceleration nga, sinasabi, force equals mass times acceleration. Sinabi nga natin, mas mataas yung mass, mas mahina yung acceleration. So that means opposite or inverse relationship meron yung mass and acceleration. Now, sinabi ng question mo, what is the mass of the first object? If its acceleration is twice of that second object, uh, of that of the second object, yung acceleration niya is twice, mas mabilis siya two times kesa sa first object. So what do you think would be the mass of that object? Okay, so nakikita natin dito, acceleration would be force divided by mass. So if you double the acceleration, kagaya nga yung nasa question natin, pag twice yung acceleration niya, mas matulin siya two times, that means one half lamang yung mass niya. Okay, half lamang ng mass ng first object, yung mass na meron siya. So your answer here would be letter C, since mass and acceleration nga have um, the same, have uh, mass and acceleration have inverse relationship. Okay, so make sure that you know this. These are all very common questions in the lab. Your loss of motion according to Sir Isaac Newton.